with a proud dad. First person I saw when I came in this morning, Stanley, Stanley Johnson. Johnson. Congratulations, uh, your boy done it. He got he got it done. Well, I'm gobsmacked. You've got a proud sister here too. Proud of sister, Rachel Johnson. Do not, of course, do not, well. do not forget. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how proud she is. We'll come to her in a minute. Sisters. <laughs> well, I'm. Of course, I'm proud. But I've got to tell you, I'm a little bit stunned also at the mm. extent of the challenge. You you just ticked off ticked off quite a few of the things. Mm. You know, like like Scotland. All the things the manifesto said we would do, health, education, police. I want to put in a little plea also for the internationalism, which is going to be vital if he's going to deal with climate change mm -hmm. and nature protection. For me, these are obviously key issues. And ironically, I say this because I'm aware of the irony, ironically, one of the first things I think he's got to do is rebuild bridges with Europe, obviously they're not the bridges of being part of the EU, but a really substantial bridge with Europe, including those pan-European organisations. But he also, Stanley, he has to build bridges in this country. You of know, course, I think the course, key yeah. challenge for Boris Johnson now is he has to try and bring a very fractured, polarised and, and frankly, viciously split country together, doesn't he? I think it's very brother, reverential of you, Rachel. I know, that's your brother. Is You're in a weird the reason position, I say the Prime Minister is because I don't call him Boris, you see, so it's much easier to say what the Prime Minister. call him? I call him Al. Oh, because his name is yeah. Well, that's because he's Alexander. Crew Alexander so. on, a, on a personal level, you must be I am, for your brother. I think he's, it's, it's historic. You and know, yet... he's, he's, he's made history, you know, and it was a high risk. Uh, if this is a second referendum on the EU, it's been won by 43% of the vote. It didn't have to get over 50%. It seems, looking at the Well, no, as Robert Tories. Peston explained so brilliantly in that sort of exposition of the results earlier, I mean, he's got his result via the medium of a general election. Exactly. And splitting the Remain vote. Exactly right. But actually, you're, you're by an increasing... Ardent, you're an ardent Remainer. Yeah, and thank you for not saying Ramona. Ramona, but... Well, I... Yeah, you have you've given him I, the opportunity. You have bordered on Ramoning. Uh, so uh, yes, you're okay. in a weird position. Your brother has won a general election by campaigning massively against what you feel politically. How do you deal with that? I think my answer to that is I'm really proud of what he's achieved. I mean, nobody can take that away from him. Credit where it's due. Why, why say I'm going to do a deal in 11 months when actually you could just say, we're going to get Brexit done, we're going to have the withdrawal agreement passed in the Commons with my lovely big new majority. Now we can take time to work out our relationship with Europe and everyone will forget about it and get on with are their you lives. All, are you all spending Christmas together and will it be at number 10? <laughs> I just want to make one technical point. Oh, come on, Stanley. No, no, let technical. him make a technical correction. I want to make a technical point. I'm not wholly with Rachel on this one, because I took the view, even though I had 20 years, as you know, in Europe, I took the view that once we said we were going to leave, yep. we jolly well Same as me. So but what was I was the technical wholeheartedly correction? behind Boris on this one. Now, as for, as for Christmas, who knows okay. what's going to happen? You must know as a family where you're having Christmas <laughs> well, by he, now. He, I'm afraid he didn't know he would be in Downing Street no. all checkers are you all hoping, this morning. Are you hoping for a big checkers hoolie? What happens? We, are, you, we are united in our love of the monarchy. At 3pm on a Christmas <laughs> day, we will... <laughs> You'll be sitting down and watching the Queen's speech. Sit down and watch the Queen's speech. Quite right. I'm sure that Her Majesty will be taking a keen interest in all this.